And Jordan talked to voters in downtown Milwaukee and rural Wisconsin about the divide of support. He joins us now live with a great view of Milwaukee. Ben? Carol George, whether Wisconsinites like the outcome over the or the election or not, they're, they're, a clear divide remains across the state, and that is ever evident comparing these two cities. Along the busy blocks of Brady Street, hustle and bustle in Wisconsin's biggest city finds tranquility at local cafes. Two days after a historic election leaves some conversations just as bitter as the coffee. I think people need to be fighting Trump. Just that has been seen as close as the streets of Chicago. Jennifer Petrie understands their concerns and supports their message. A lot of people are legitimately terrified for their lives. For Christina Repetti, fears of Trump's proposed policies and political attacks on both sides have led to a divided country. And I understand that a lot of people feel like their voices were taken away and that's emotional. Down country roads into the historically conservative town of West Bend. Veggie. Lunchtime talk takes a different tone for some on the same topic, turning anger into acceptance. So much of that energy could have been put towards good. It doesn't matter whether you agree with the person, you must respect the office and you must respect the constitutional process. For Charles Hillman, Trump wasn't his first choice, but he's going into this transition with an open mind while hoping all Americans will come around. Trump is our president. Wanting him to fail is, 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 a, is a foolish thing. We want him to succeed. And coming up at 6, we'll have a reaction from urban and rural voters about their expectations from Trump's first 100 days as president. Live in downtown Milwaukee, Ben Jordan, today's TMJ4. A lot of polarization. Thank you very much, Ben.